This Capital Ministries ministry update is about Dr. Gary Dole, saying that Christians should be excited about Capital Ministries' mission. Capital Ministries' mission to reach government leaders with the life-changing principles of the Word of God is tremendous and something Christians should be excited about, said Gary Dull on the Stand in the Gap Today radio program this week. Ralph Drawlinger, president of Capital Ministries, and John Cassell, Capman's Africa director, were interviewed by telephone on the live Monday, May 11th show. The national program is broadcast from Pennsylvania and hosted by Dr. Dull, Sam Rohr, former Pennsylvania State Representative and President of the American Pastors Network, and David Kistler of Hope Ministries International. Dr. Dole shared, quote, One of the problems we face today is that most of the time government officials do not understand what is good and what is evil from the basis of Scripture. That is why God has raised up Capital Ministries. This is something we should be excited about and want to learn more about. Reaching those in government with the life-changing principles of the Word of God, what you are doing is a tremendous thing, end quote. When asked how Capital Ministries began in 1996, Drawlinger explained the concept of planting Bible teachers inside the halls of government to evangelize, disciple, and teach weekly Bible studies was based on the effective sports ministry model. Drawlinger stated, quote, Capital Ministries replicated that model because having full-time, intentional, deliberate, biblically reliant disciple makers on high school and college campuses and in professional sports proved to be tremendously successful. That FaceTime discipleship creates fruitfulness and spiritual maturity. You can't expect someone who rejects the author of Scripture to accept the precepts of his book, end quote. Dr. Dole noted that in Romans chapter 13, the Bible teaches that government is an institution of God, and those in government are considered to be ministers of God. Dole shared, quote, Their main duty is to stand against that which is evil and to stand for that which is good from the biblical worldview, end of quote. Drawlinger said weekly teaching the high-protein diet of Scripture infuses the gospel into the heart of the political leader. Drawlinger said, Once a man comes to Christ, he will lead him into all truth. We are about evangelism and teaching the whole Word of God so that a person thinks biblically when it comes to making decisions that affect the whole of a nation, end quote. Asked about Capman's Africa Ministries, Cassell said battling corruption was a primary issue, as were the spreading of Islam and nepotism because of a tremendous pressure for people to take care of family. Quote, What we want to do in Africa differs from country to country, but our mission is to encourage Christian public servants to become spiritually grounded in the Word. And then, when the trials and tribulations come, if a person is grounded in the Word, they can stand solid and represent with the Christian and biblical principles through righteous governance, end quote. Cassell, who was from Pennsylvania, said he and Drawlinger were working to plant a ministry to legislators in his home state. Those who are interested in seeing a Bible teaching ministry planted in their own states should contact Capman through the website. Drawlinger said since 1996, Capital Ministries has planted ministries in 43 states, three in Washington, D.C., to members of the White House Cabinet, U.S. Senators and Representatives, and to national leaders in more than two dozen foreign nations. Additionally, a ministry to the local leaders in the 40,000 incorporated city and county governments has just been launched on a limited basis. The 52 weekly Bible studies that are taught to national leaders in D.C. can be downloaded from Capman's site, capman.org, in Word and audio format. In more than 24 years in ministry, Drawlinger said he has often seen the Word of God transform political leaders. Quote, When you see a person fall in love with the Word of God, and there is a transition in their mind, that God's Word is inerrant, those truths are timeless, immutable. When you see a legislator begin to rely on truth of Scripture to inform their policy making, it is the biggest reward that a Bible teacher can receive, end quote. Dr. Dull also stated, quote, I praise the Lord for raising you up, Ralph and John, because what you do is quality work. For such a time as this, it is tremendous to have Bible studies in the White House 
and on Capitol Hill and throughout the world, end quote. 